Hey there, hey everyone. So, we are almost done with The Wolf Among Us. We're in the fifth chapter. I've been trying to keep these recordings till about 20, 25 minutes. Um, but I gotta be honest, I'm, I just kinda wanna knock this out, get this done. Uh, I, I just kinda wanna, so this, this one might be a little bit longer um, than other things we've seen. Uh, let's check player choices real quick. See where we left off. In the last one, um, we chose to... We left Georgia to die. And this is the first time I've made a choice in a while that was super uh, low percentage compared to what other people did. Which is interesting. I didn't leave him to die to uh, suffer, though. I left him to die because I just didn't want to kill him, I guess. This is the way to uh, put it. Uh, so we're going to dive right into the game now. I'm pretty excited to see how this ends. Continue. Alright, so here we are at Shepherd Metalworks, which is a location that Georgie gave to us before he uh, was left to die. So much graffiti. Do I have anything I can do besides the door? Yes. Let's examine the limousine. Still warm. He's here, all right. All right. Noted. I like the walking in circle animations quite a bit. So much graffiti. Do we have anything besides the door we can interact with? does not seem to be that way. Okay. Just wanted to determine that. Um, enter. Okay, so it's locked. Oh, whoops. There we go. That was some lock. Shepherd Metalworks. So much metal. This place is so metal. Okay, so there's the crooked man's symbol. The best safety device is a careful worker. That's some nice propaganda there. So this is where they've been sending these. To the metal works. I just want to point out that, it, yes, it did say examine the package. <clears throat> yeah. It's a little concerning. Motion light, maybe? Just doing a lot of just entering the doors. All right. This, I mean, nothing bad could possibly happen here. Big B wolf. Who's saying that? The big bad wolf. <laughs> Is that Bloody Mary? I think it might be. This is like some serious Terminator 2 right now. I still really like the animation style. I probably haven't commented on that in a while, but I really do like it. You used to be something. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hello, what have we here? Uh okay. Faith, Faith and Nerissa. I think I keep getting Nerissa and Vivian confused. I was doing that a lot in the last episode. It's super obvious now. Faith, uh, Snow White, and I should totally remember who that is, and I don't. It might be. Oh, that's the uh, Holly. I think. Snow and me. This is very strange. Sure. They used to fear you. Uh, I think a lot of people still do. Wheel. Wheel of Fortune! They hide anywhere their small shivering bodies This is also kind of, uh, Attack of the Clones droid factory right now with that thing. Maybe R2-D2 will show up. Bleach? Should I take the bleach or the giant mallet with me? It might be good to have, like, a weapon. Having a weapon might be a good thing. This is also kind of Portal. This is like if Terminator 2, Attack of the Clones, and Portal 
had a baby, it would be this level right now. This camera's wigging me out. Okay, what's this? Is that a weapon? It's some molten crap. That's good. That's a good sign. Let's look at the workbench. Oh, silver bullets. Huh. That's concerning. Silver. The big bad wolf. Ah! That was only kind of terrifying. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Oh boy. Ah, I'm just waiting for the quick time event. you made it here in one piece. Well, what? We're just gonna have a party I have here? Some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Um. Make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> uh, hit her. <laughs> wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Oh, it didn't go well. Why are you like uh, in the face? Ah, oh, shoot. What can she move through light bulbs? I really don't know how Bloody Mary works. Why would I go that way? Why wouldn't I go back where the crooked man went? Whatever. Whatever. Is she gonna be in the thing? Is it R2-D2? I don't like this wheel. I think I'm gonna have an Indiana Jones moment with this wheel. I don't know why I picked that one, I just did. <laughs> Spectre. Sneaky snake. Ooh. Whoa. Uh, am I supposed to go through the steam? I can't go back. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna go through the steam. That's fine. Whoa, crap. That was really fast. Ow. I did not see that coming at all. Okay. Is it gonna be W again? Oh, hey! Haha! -ha! W! Haha! Haha! Where are you? I thwarted you! Come out and face me! That's a weird sound. Oh, hello. You have a face too. This is horrendous. This is one of the worst things I've ever looked at in my life, and I don't want to look at it anymore. Uh, but we're gonna do this. It's she's like super demonic looking right now, and I'm not I'm not a fan. Crap! Am I screwing this up, or is this like part of the? Darn it! Okay. There we go. Whoa! That was fun. Okay, good. At least we hit a save point. What is going on? Alright, dude. You're fine. We're gonna be fine. That is a disgusting sound. Now, what caused her to, like, go into this form? Is it the same thing that causes the Oh. Oh. Um, hmm. This is, uh, this may pose a problem. We just got all, like, uh, Matrix sequels. Uh, I'm not doing the best at clicking right now. I can't determine if I am misclicking or if the game got harder and you have to click closer or if this is just how it works. Like, you're gonna necessarily get beat up X amount. Wish out. This is super weird. I 
There's just so much going on right now. Okay, yeah, we're off. In the face. Oh, this is seriously stressing me out. Oh, oh. Uh. There we go. Super wolf. Wolf. What? What? I'm a what? What on earth? I'm like an actual wolf now. I became an actual wolf. So that's cool. I didn't know I could do this. Um, this is super neat. I feel like this would have been useful. But I mean, this is probably not a thing I should do all the time. Yeah, I can step on you and rip- Oh, yeah. This is fun. It's like gore, but without actual gore. Where does the blood go, though? Because she's clearly bleeding. Boop! Nerp! Nerp! Ow! Sorry, honey. This is super insane. Bonk. How many of you are there? I don't think this is part of the Bloody Mary myth. Am I gonna roar? Am I gonna bark super loud? That's what I wanna do. Oh, I'm gonna help them buff and blow the house down. Yes! Big bad wolf powers. This is so awesome. Okay, you must be like the prime, the prime Bloody Mary. What are you doing, honey? Oh, right out of your brain. You will come and stab me. Nerf going. Oh, don't go for the eye. Okay, thank God. Oh, that was almost really disturbing. There's your face. Well, that was neat. So that was like my Megazord form. So that's cool. Well, that was fun. Um, am I kind of naked now? Hey! Hey, crooked man. I'm a naked man. It's nice to meet you. Zero days without an accident. It's about right. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of sp I won't miss next time. Oh, snap. Okay, fine. Before you do anything, so there's five me, more. I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And yes. That's what I want. That's you the plan. You plan what she says, don't you? That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will all bring right. me back alive. Okay. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at, at least, least you agree would. That? I will have a trial. Why would the you want that? The be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? I don't like that he Look, wants this. There's no this. reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I don't trust I didn't this. Kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their death. Yeah. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. So he was dying, dude. There was no saving himself. Not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. 
I don't need to belabor the um, point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest I mean, of I'm gonna take him back because I feel like that's the longer story. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really weird. care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? It's I'm doing faith. this for Faith. Because she and Lily died. And someone is gonna answer for that. Yeah. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. No. I mean, yeah, but... Georgie. I don't think it stops there. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. It's, it's you not really that simple. You think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Let's go. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I feel like... So, I chose this because... I mean, I don't know what... I guess because I know this... Maybe I should have picked the other one because I don't know what would have happened. I don't know. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Oh, anyway, I want to see how this plays out. Fucker. Him being dead is just everyone being mad okay? at me, you know? I want to see how this it's happens. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. He didn't make it at easy. At the crooked man's place. No, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. There we go. There's that smile. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you told get you, dude. Off? You think you have the right and to just do this no to people? No one's going to be that happy with you. This, you should be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss You White. gave the Georgie order. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight. Sorry. He bled out from his wounds. I'm, I'm seriously, over. I'm just trying not so to make the wrong decision here. That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. Yeah. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. Yeah. And I, I don't. I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights. Let her rights. finish. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? Snow, I hope Snow will appreciate that later, too. <laughs> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Mm -hmm. Twice. 
a misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> that was a really First fast all, decision. I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're in Let him speak. Obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where court. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend Sorry, yourself. guys, I'm like super, rob you super into this. Right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about no, he gets a right to if talk. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No yeah. more secrets. Yep. We are going to treat everyone fairly. Yep. Even when they don't deserve it. Well, I'm not sure that actually means fairly, uh, but it does mean justly. This is ridiculous. So, you know, A for effort in your English. Why did we uncuff him so floor. he could talk? Doesn't make any sense. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. But oh, are you going to get to your point? Yeah, I'm that? kind of bored too already, dude. Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such a bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? I was attacked. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what is he what you up to? About, don't you? I mean, does he really do think anything. that he's like helpful? He might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. What's he talking about? They didn't yeah, want right. to protect you. They don't you. do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as George. Yeah, was. free to make their own decisions, except Lily? for suffering the she consequences. She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept um, them in debt so they me? couldn't leave. Yes. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. Yeah. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, nibbling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? That Crane was, was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Yep. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. It's a good thing we didn't burn her tree, Snow. Nowhere else to turn. She came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But 
That's there right, we did. Work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothes. <laughs> no. You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. Yep. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made it's some kind mistakes. Of a low blow. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. I think she does. She's and just... so does the sheriff. Yep. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. Things haven't been great. I probably should have let Snow now, talk. Shouldn't have interrupted better her. better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your yep. hope for a better he life. He has been. You would Don't. go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Like he took faith and Lily from us. And while I feel we like this back, teamwork between us is going pretty okay, though. Responsible. Hey, Beast. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. Yeah. And those girls will have their justice. Yeah. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. But the the there's like several people. Particle of evidence linking me to the Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. Yeah. I just of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you. Man. For profit. George I don't Kingdom think it's right how we're doing this either. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. I'm just gonna let him talk. I don't want to say anything that's gonna make it worse for me. Whatever you're getting at, get to it. If I'm to blame for George's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. That was blue. Maybe that was. He's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. <laughs> Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. That's true. Right before you decided to kidnap him. That's it also was valid. Protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely Snow different. didn't order I me to do anything. Order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know. The laws apply when we need them. Let's Everyone calm down. Calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason a certain we're here. level of privilege should be afforded to me. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? With the promise of more or the Who delivery of more? Because, buddy, I you promise a lot, but I don't think you delivered anything. Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, 
Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Narissa. Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take Wait. a moment to catch your breath? What's while? she doing here? She can talk. Because like Vivian's. To, I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Yeah. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. Yeah. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Yeah. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sure, if this is how Vivian you killed herself. Be quiet. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Narissa! My name is Narissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be. Yeah, he he's ordered really them dead. Of her. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say you're an asshole. <laughs> we know what happened. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Good, good, Georgie good, would good. have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a shit. At least what? five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. Oh. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! Yeah. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. Yeah, right, you've you done a whole lot of nothing. Lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. I should have not said anything. Well done then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? She's right, He's we guilty. don't. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. Yeah. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not assure good you, enough. Maybe there only has a more point. if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't care. So well, he can be stopped and imprisoned. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? Uh, what do you think this is? Everyone, should vote. calm down. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should I be mean, she's judge. not wrong. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. It's no one. Just do what you think is right. Am I gonna have time to think about this? Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Uh, Teach him a fucking lesson. I kinda wanna he side to with die. Nancy Greenleaf. Just way. fucking get rid of him. Lock him up. I don't wanna rip Everyone, his head off. I'm not this way. Oh, well, that's fun. <laughs> Looks like he's going down anyway. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. The moment Thinking where you me, tried to when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff.
You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, yeah. you can't what be serious. What he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This yeah. isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. One day later. And I'm sleepy. Hey, Auntie Greenleaf, and your little crow. And was that Toad? Morning, crooked man. Oh, he's I got like a it. sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Work is work, I guess. Hey, Sheriff. I don't remember. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Yeah. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Are they going off to the farm, too? This fucking line. What's up, people? Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Alright. Can we talk? Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Huh. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. All right. Was he going to the farm? Maybe he's coming back from the store, I guess. I don't know. Where does this go from here? Hey, Toad. Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. Hey, carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! I forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. What are you mad at me for? Day. <sighs> shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. What's he got? Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... Was it his weevil? Bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Aww. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. Poor little kid. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yep. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. 
Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, uh... TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How no should I? I know? <laughs> Saying goodbye? Hey. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. This is a very long epilogue. I wonder where this is all heading to. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. Okay. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. Okay. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. Oh. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... Right. I I had no choice. Oh, you have to understand. You rat it out, Faith. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? Yeah. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe. Yeah. Again in it's a few okay, days. honey. What? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy. For all of us. I see. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were. You were trying to protect just them. Trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then. Oh God. <laughs> Let's encourage smoking. Thank you. There you go. Have a big lung full of tar so you feel better. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And I bet you didn't hear the order. We're sitting there as he was telling me this. Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man. Yeah. Back at the well, you said. I know what I said. Yeah, I had a feeling this was but gonna it happen. it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get uh -huh. away with it because of a stupid This is interesting. Especially after... That night, after Faith... I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's oh. head at her doorstep. You? That makes way more sense. I walked her over here, and I left her. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. Oh. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. Right. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. Right. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Well, that makes sense. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry I'm you had sorry, to do that. Marissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just 
Not enough for her or anyone. Uh -huh. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. Mm -hmm. The way you look That's out what for I'm each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Sounds like the Things classic, uh, we don't know if we're hooking up or not. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us... It's just a really long epilogue in the rain. <laughs> without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice I to think this, this is the game telling me how well I did. <laughs> because you brought the crooked man in, everyone I'm curious if the same dialogue Bigby exists was. no matter how you play so Bigby. where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. I see so remember if it doesn't help worse. because there's Fable the game's over. Be the same without you. Alright, now that my ego as a player is officially stroked, uh, where's You're the game going from here? you as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used oh to call God. me the little Where Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Uh, Go after her. I'll see you around. Wolf. What? I don't understand what I was supposed to glean from that. What what did that what did any of that mean? Okay. Okay. Uh I have no fundamental understanding whatsoever of what that meant. So What? So Narissa um, presumably could have set the crooked man up, maybe? Is that, like, was that some, supposed to be some sort of reveal? I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand, I don't understand what the ending means at all. Um, what? Special stats. You impressed her with your detector. You fought. Okay. What the fudge does any of this mean? You imprisoned him. You helped him avoid the farm. Okay. I don't understand what any of this means either. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, so clearly that was supposed to be some sort of revelation at the end. I, I feel like there's something that happened there that I was supposed to understand. And I don't understand it. Um. Like, was this all a plan to get rid of Vivian so they could be free of the, the ribbons? Was the crooked man even involved? All right, well, on that note, let's just look at these last few Book of Fables. Okay, um, alright, well, I guess that's the end of the game. 
I, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, I get what happened, but like clearly something was supposed to happen at the end of that game and I have, I have no idea what it was picking up or laying down. Um, so cool. I guess that's the end. Um, so yeah, that's been Wolf Among Us and it was really good until the last 60 seconds that made absolutely no sense. Uh, so I'll probably do more stuff like this. And, uh, yeah, I will, I will talk to you all later.